Hi, I'm Seth Freudberg. I'm the Director of Options Training here at SMBU in Manhattan. I'm also the Head Trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. So, uh, Happy New Year, everybody. The bears are in complete control of the market now. Uh, we keep getting uh, big days of sell-offs or uh, big failed rallies, one of the two, but almost every day is ending up in the negative uh, these days. And so, uh, this is a time to talk about uh, options trading. Uh, because these are very interesting times in options trading. Very challenging and lots of great opportunity as well. The point I want to uh, make today is about uh, the market and how the options pricing automatically adjusts for the volatility in the market. And uh, the point uh, is, if you are a market neutral options trader like those of us on our trading desk, are these the times that you run for the hills? Uh, and or are these the times where there's actually opportunity? And I would argue there's actually more opportunity now uh, than there normally is in the marketplace. And that is because we're in a period of very high volatility. The VIX is very high. But volatility, as everyone knows or should know, returns to the mean ultimately, meaning really what it comes down to is emotion eventually stabilizes. And when that stabilizes, the volatility being built uh, in the um, uh, options pricing starts to dissipate. So if you are net short those options, you are going to are, are going to do so well, very well. So my argument would be this is actually a period of time where you have more edge than usual in your trading. So let's take a look at the some real examples of how this comes about so you can start to get a feel for uh, why I would call this a time of opportunity. Um, let's take a look at if you entered into an iron condor in the SPX uh, in November for the January expiration. Uh, that was a, a rather low volatility time in November, and that would be November 2015. And in that period of time, you would have, uh, if, if, your, if your purpose was to collect about $3,400 uh, in credit, then, and with the VIX at 16, you would have been able to get an iron condor, which is 340 points wide. So if that's the credit you were looking for, you could get 340 points of width, all right? In many markets, that's going to be plenty of width in an iron condor to make a profit. As you know, an iron condor is structured so that as long as the market uh, closes between the short strikes of the iron condor, you are going to make money if you hold it to expiration. Now let's take a look at that same basic trade 65 days out from the February expiration. So this would be a trade you'd enter in, in December when volatility was starting to pick up a little bit. Now the VIX is at 18. You're still looking for your $3,400 credit, but you're only getting another 10 points of width. So in a high, 350 points of width. So in, an high, in a higher uh, implied volatility period of time, uh, you're getting a little bit more width for the same credit, but not a lot. But now, let's take a look at after New Year's uh, 2016. Subsequent to New Year's 2016, the VIX uh, shot up to 25 if you are 65 days out from the then 65 day out expiration of March. At that point, with the VIX at 25, you're, you got paid actually a little bit more credit, and your width is now 400 40 points wide. That is a very, very wide iron condor, 440 SPX points. That gives you an awful lot of room for error. So the market, uh, the market basically allowed you the same credit for much, a much wider width of uh, profitability in an iron condor. And so there's no more logical reason to run away from the, the, the March trade uh, as it would be to run away from the November trade in a lower, uh, I'm sorry, the January trade in a lower volatility time. It actually makes a great deal of sense to enter this trade now because the likelihood is at one point the volatility will dissipate and you will see profit flowing into this position very quickly. Now, I'm not recommending you enter this position. I'm just showing you the comparison between entering in a low volatility time and a high volatility time. And basically, the market automatically adjusts your condor for the same credit to give you much more protection, essentially. 
So what's the conclusion? There is an edge in entering the trade right now. You are going to get a much wider width for uh, um, a, a, um, the same amount of credit that you may want to collect month after month uh, using an iron condor. Now, here's, here's the rub. The rub is, if the trade is being initiated now, I believe you have an edge. If you initiated the trade a month ago, not so much, because now what you have done is moved from a low volatility period of time where you got paid for a low expectation of volatility, yet the market was more volatile than anticipated. So um, rather than run away from trading now, this is actually the best time for opportunity uh, in options trading are these very high volatility times. So I hope that uh, you understand that and that if you had a rough January or rough February, probably the worst thing to do is to stop trading. Uh, I'm not suggesting you've got to personally make uh, your decisions about what you want to do and you should always trade options uh, strategies with a very, very small amount of your net worth in any event. But this statistically should be a time of greater edge in options trading because volatility has gotten so high and volatility tends to return to the mean. So give, give that some thought, have that concept uh, uh, percolate in your mind a little bit as you make your decisions in, in terms of initiating new trades. And uh, the best of luck to your options trading. See you next week. Let me remind you that this is the month of January and we are running the John Locke 2016 M21 challenge in which we challenge anyone who has uh, purchased some of John's products to purchase the remainder of the M21 series so that you will have a comprehensive collection of the, uh, the core teachings of John Locke, so to speak. Uh, we've put a very, very nice discount uh, on uh, the remaining pieces that you have not yet purchased, as well as provided uh, four uh, free webinars during the year for anyone taking advantage of this opportunity right now to go over uh, these trades in more depth, to get some questions answered by John himself on a two-hour webinar that will take place in February, as well as multiple webinars of individuals on our trading desk, Trading John's Strategy. So it's a wonderful opportunity, and I encourage you to take advantage of it. Thank you.